Hey everybody, this is Penny, and we are dropping down into a brand new start. Uh, my previous save was, uh, uh, it's lost. I'm not, I'm not getting it back. So we're starting over, and uh, we're going to do it as fast as possible. We're going to do this like a uh, speed start here until I get back to where I was, and then we can go back to doing, uh, you know, uh, back to our casual pace. All right. Uh, first things first. First things first. If yeah, I didn't do that on purpose. All right, I'm going to go ahead and grab my stuff. You can just turn around and hit your use key, whatever that happens to be. It's F for me. And then take all. You can do that before you even jump out there. Um, it's uh, good in those cases where there might be something out there. Drop your oxygen in. Drop your water in. Um, and I see this has been dropped down to 5%, like I said. So this one's at 10. That's my first one. And my second one's at 5%. 15% is still a lot of run buff. Especially with my knife on, because I've got bonuses to running with a knife. Uh, uh, I probably shouldn't have bonuses for running with a knife. Um, okay, so let's go and take a look at the map. Okay, so we've landed right here. If you watched my exotics farming video, um, this is the, the spot where the uh, exotics, um, where the exotics spawn in that in that scenario, uh, they won't be here. Well, I mean, I, I guess they could be, but uh, likely they're not. Um, and I think we're going to build... I like to pick one of these lakes to build by, and um, this one is really nice because there is um, a lot of uh, caves and um, veins in this area. Um, but I think we could probably do just fine here. Uh, if we come down here and we hit this... Uh, Hit this island. I think, uh, yeah, unless I see something along the way that I like better. I think that's what we're going to shoot for. So I'm just going to take off and go find a place to build. Mountain views are nice, but having water close by is always um, beneficial for, for pumps and for uh, well, having drinking water nearby. Um... You know what? I'm gonna get arrows ready right away. Grab some stone. And we're gonna need stone anyway. Uh, that's all just you know, part of that initial building process. So we're gonna, whoa! So I got an, uh, a uh, instant uh, instant claim on that block. That's you do that through talents. Uh, I'm not gonna find it right this moment, but it's uh, is it under this one? Tools? Yeah, yeah. There's a there's a, there's a, is it this one? Um, well, anyway, these are the, uh, uh, they're your different uh, stuff. You can, you can go ahead and, you know, back it up and pause it right there if you want to see what I've taken. Um, anyway, it caused me to get the whole boulder all at once, and that's way more weight than I need to be carrying around. So we're just going to go ahead and drop a couple of these here. All right, and then we go ahead and grab some. Uh, we'll grab some uh, fiber. Also, grab some soybeans while it's out. You can cook up soybeans, make crunchy soybeans. Um, for good, easy starting food. All right, I got some fiber, and now we are going to go ahead and knock down a tree. It's going to give me both uh, sticks and. Wood. I see how fast I can go through trees. Um, this is also talent related. Again, you can go check out my talent tree, and uh, you'll see uh, the relevant skills. Uh, it, and that's of course paired with a um, really nice axe. Or, well, I shouldn't say really nice axe. It's it's uh, you know mid tier. Grab one more of these here. Oh, yeah, watch out. They don't... Oh, great, I've got a concussion. All right. Oh, I got an instant tree hit there, too. I've got the same thing going on with trees. All right, let's see here. I am overweighted. Um, I'm going to need the wood sooner than I'm going to need the stones. So we'll go ahead and get rid of that. Um, I can't remember what we need for... Okay, it's, only, it's, it's 29 minutes. It's not one of these that you um, have to heal. So it'll go away eventually, but it does affect my crafting speed and movement speed. Um, I think I can make a cure for that. Yeah, 
and uh, anti-poison, antibiotic, blood thinning. Uh, yeah. So reduces duration of concussion and gives small. Um, so I need some charcoal to a lily for that. Um, so we'll see if I can see some. If I see some lilies, sweet. A couple of those, and the charcoal we're gonna get as soon as we start. Uh, a campfire up here. So I could build on this side of the river, uh, or the water, um, which is nice for its own reasons, but I like having the, the buffer um, because a lot of the animals won't just walk through the water. Um, they they will if they're running or chasing, but they won't just, just jump in and you know move to another island. So your odds of running into predators seem, seem to be... I could always be wrong. I'm, I'm wrong a lot. <laughs> They could see it seems to be less frequent that you run into wandering predators uh, when you're on an island. Okay, let's clear this sucker off, make room for a small base. My goal is to have the the base set up, uh, the basic your basic first base before before you're uh, adding up to mining. Um, I want to have that set up by the end of this episode, and I want to do these episodes in uh, 20 to 30 minutes. So, let's see if we can't get this all ready to go here. Okay. That should be enough space for us to begin with. This tree's a little close. Um, the reason you don't want trees too close is, uh, first of all, storms can knock them down. And second of all, they can, uh, they can start on fire. And then that fire spreads to your... Uh, your uh, base cabin. Not a problem once we're at stone, but it's going to take us a little bit of time to get to stone. Now I know I'm slowed down because I'm overweight at the moment. That's fine because we're um, in our uh, the location we're going to build here. Get these bushes out of the way. I think uh, fire can spread by bushes too, and these little trees. Um, but I am going to be not going to be right on top of those. All right, so I'm going to build like right here. Uh, first thing I'm going to do here is we're going to come into crafting, and I'm going to go ahead and generate one of these stone piles and some of these wood piles. All right, so I'm going to get those crafting, just so I can get the get the weight off of me here. And then uh, I think this is the spot I want to build right here. So one of the things that you want to do when you are um, first starting out your building is you want to look at the lay of the land and you don't want to be if I start down here um, then as I'm building my platforms are going to be underground I mean they're going to be they're going to stay level and the ground goes up so either I want to use foundations to bring the bring the level uh, bring the ground level over here or I want to start here and build this way um, and then I'll just need to support it from underneath now, with the new dirt system uh, for making dirt foundations, I believe you can just th grab a shovel right away. And I did not do this in my last build. Um, or do I need something for it? Oh, there's a shovel. So I can do a wooden shovel. And we'll add that to the... Oh, um, am I... I don't know. I'll figure this out in a second here. Uh, let's get these going first here so I can get some of this weight off of me. And I'm just going to grab these as I build, so... Uh, I'm not going to worry too much about organizing them at the moment. You can stack them on top of each other. All right. Okay. Got some materials sitting right there. Um, I am going to go ahead and craft one of these shovels. Getting a little fancier this, with, the, with this uh, initial setup than I had originally planned, but that's all right. And then we're just going to go ahead and dig some dirt. Um... The ground does not deform in this game. I don't believe, right? No. Um, I'm not sure if you can just... Can you just shovel infinitely in one spot? Or do you eventually run out of dirt? I'm not sure. Um, so I've got that going, and I believe... Yeah, there it is, right? Dirt Foundation. Um, and they're expensive. Uh, but I'm going to get some foundations going. You know, weather coming in already. Um... At my level, I'm not overly susceptible. Oh, I forgot I was going to make that stuff for my concussion. Uh, oh, I didn't, I didn't put up my 
campfire yet. Scatterbrained today. Okay, I'm going to put this guy up here, and I'm just going to drop some wood in here, and let's see, do we have anything to cook? I did grab those soybeans, yeah. Cook up some soybeans, and we'll, uh, while those are cooking and making ash, take care of our concussion. We'll continue to, uh, continue to uh, shovel here, and keep making some dirt foundations. Actually, that's going to be all we need for the moment. Uh, so I'm going to pick a place here. Um, and this looks like it'll make a nice. And this looks like it'll make a nice straight spot. Okay, so now I've got a foundation to build on, and I can expand that foundation as needed. Um, I think I'm going to plan on going this way. Uh, let's see here. I get okay. There we go. All right, next thing I want to do is I want to do uh, floors and walls. Um, let's see here. So we're going to do these. I'll start out with a... I might as well just start out with a full cabin here. Um, get a floor. Come over here. And you're just going to hold down the button and grab your stacks. And queue up another four. So I've got... A floor and I've got a ceiling and then for my walls I'm gonna need eight get those going um, I will need a door and I think I'm gonna do four windows here all right this should make uh, all the starting base we need for a while um, and you know what we're gonna need uh, <laughs> As this goes, we are going to need a hammer, and it's always good to have that fire whacker because you don't want to be trying to get, uh, trying to worry about crafting a fire whacker while your, um, while your house is on fire. Okay. Um, uh, there is a better, uh, worst part of this storm coming up. I don't want to build during the storm. Um, well, I guess what does it matter? Okay, so we're going to deploy. I'm just going to put these right on top of our foundations. If you want your stuff to look good later on, um, you should try to make sure that your uh, that all of these have their facing the same way. Because uh, when you go to upgrade them later, see how do I get this one to face the way? Do I have to. Oh, I got to actually rotate it. I want these all face the same direction so that, um, I guess, slat-wise at least. So that when I go to upgrade these later on, they don't look funny when I put in, uh, like, good wooden floors. All right. Now. Oh, for some reason, my walls didn't, uh, you know, free lumber. Uh, for some reason, my walls did not craft. So we're going to do this again. Okay, now I'm short. Let's see here. How many did I make? Huh. Okay. Give me a couple more of those going on here, and we're going to go ahead and deploy these. So I think I'm going to put a double window this way, a double window this way, and the door probably right here. Maybe double window there, double window there. Yeah, and a door on this side. I think that's what I'll do. So I'm going to go ahead and put the door here. Um, and then I want a solid wall here. I'm going to go with a nice view here and here. Switch to the other side from there and there. And I'm just going to go... Oh, I am short one. These out. And uh, there we go. So now we got our starting cabin. Put that down. Put our shutters out. All right, 
Let's go ahead and deploy the cot. Yeah, let's pick a nice spot for it. Get it as tight in there as possible so we can leave room for uh, crafting benches and stuff. Uh, let's see. Furnace has got to be inside, so we're going to deploy that right away. And it does fit into smaller spots because it's a uh, nice little compact size. So I'm just going to stick that in a spot that would otherwise be probably too close to the door to be useful. Right. Next, uh, let's go ahead and we're going to have to get some animals. We need the leather for the uh, workbench. We've got stone, we've got wood laying around. None of that's a problem. Go ahead and bunch up the berries. Um, come out here and uh, grab our crunchy soybeans. And I'm going to consume one of those. And that's just to give me the, yeah, add the buffs in there. Um, also going to grab our charcoal here. And now that we've got charcoal, we do a couple things here. Well, we're going to need the workbench for the other thing. Uh, but we can at least get this blood thinning paste. Get some blood thinning paste going. And come over here and take care of that um, concussion problem here. And you see that... Uh, Reduced it down to about half. Um, and it's increasing my, or decreasing the afflictions I'm getting uh, from that concussion and uh, increasing my health regeneration. It's kind of counteracting it. Uh, let's see. Uh, what's the other thing I want to do? Oh, yeah. Um, so, um, you can see our door's a little bit up off the ground. So... To make stairs in this game, you're going to take the, the uh, wood roof ramp and craft one of those. Obviously, you can do this all in thatch, too. I just I skip thatch because it's, it, it's crap. All right, I'm going to deploy this, and I'm going to hit R, and then there's a stair option here. So you can turn that to stairs and get that aligned, and there you go. It's mostly in the ground. It offers a little bit of stairs there, and you can get up and down without having to, um, to jump. Uh, so there we go. Uh, basic base setup. Uh, the last thing I want to do to call this first episode complete is uh, we want to we want to get ourselves an animal, which means uh, crafting, and we need some arrows. I don't need that many arrows. Oh, because we're going to switch to bone arrows at some point. All right, we got arrows going. We're going to switch to the bow. And thanks to the patch that just came out, the bow is actually able to load again. Um, it's part of the reason I lost my last save, actually, is because I thought there was a problem with my save um, and uh, on my on my G portal. Um, and in the process of trying to uh, reinst uh, reinstall the files, I I screwed up and deleted my deleted my save. Um, Whatever, what's done is done. Um, it's not going to take me long to get back to kind of where I was. Um, and I hope you still find that content to be um, entertaining. Uh, it, take, it takes a long time for rabbits to add up to anything, but that guy right there. Oh, oh. missed him. Um, if he doesn't go too far, I'll still... No, okay. That rabbit's like, I'm out of here. Ah. A deer would have everything I need. Um, it's okay. It, there's a lot of animals here. It won't take long. I'll go into sneak mode. Go ahead and get him taken down. Or I could wait for wolves to show up. Uh, doesn't take long, usually. I'm going to leave something like this laying around, but... That's okay. He's probably got everything I need. So we're going to get him going. Oh, yeah. Get that. Um, I just need the wood, and I'll be ready to go. Uh, I do. It is early on. I'm used to ignoring bones, because eventually you got so many bones, you don't know what to do with them um, right now. Well, that's, that is until you start making uh, epoxy, and then you want those bones again. So Let's see here. Uh, the fish will bite, and they're poisonous. There you go. I think he failed to poison me, but I need to get these damn trees off my base. There we 
go. That's better. A little storm cleanup here. Good enough. Uh, there's way more. Wow, there's a lot here. <laughs> way more wood laying here than I'm gonna need at the moment. But uh, I do want to get this all uh, cleaned up around my base, so it's not uh, in my face while I'm trying to work here. There we go. All right, got our little uh, cabin cleaned up now. Um, so now we're gonna get the workbench going. And while that's going, um, yeah, I got plenty of wood here, but I am gonna get a whole bunch more stacks of wood. Um, this is one way to store wood, and you can store it outside and just throw in piles. Um, it's it's almost just as easy to build a storage box and uh, stick everything in there. But you do have to worry about, you can't put storage boxes outside. Uh, the weather will destroy them. So, you know, that's kind of why you uh, put them in stacks. Yeah, I missed them again, yeah. No. <laughs> Oh, you got to the bank before I get a second shot on. Um, go ahead and get that workbench set up. I don't like having them too close to the door. If you leave the door open on accident and it's raining, uh, the workbench takes, or any of these crafting benches can take damage real fast. I'm not sure. I think like over here. Um, I've never been able to confirm one way or the other over uh, about whether leaving these windows open with something underneath it um, will damage it. And I do want to get that tested. And one way to test it is going to be um, to stick one of these storage crates. These are, these are junk. Um, they barely hold anything and they're cheap to make. Um, but this one here, I think I'm just going to leave this under this open window here. As close as I can get it. Uh, just to see if it starts degrading uh, next time we get a storm through here. I don't, I don't think it will. I think from what I've seen so far, it looks like um, they don't take damage because I'm, I'm guessing these shutters are kind of acting as a shelter, um, which would be nice because I like having the windows open. I love the views. Um, this is a gorgeous game. Um, let's see here. What else do we need to consider this? Um, game started and... Uh, I need metal to put up lighting. Uh, textiles bench. Um, I don't really have much use for the textiles bench in this game because I have a suit I can call down. Um, we're going to want this orbital exchange interface going. That's going to require uh, some metals, which are going to get out of caves. And uh, we're going to tackle that um, first thing next episode. Uh, what else we got here? Uh, salting station. This is good for preserving preserving food. Let me go ahead and throw one of those up. And then I also want to get a... Um, oh, the, I think it's actually under this crafting here. Yeah, there. Uh, the basic water purifier. And it looks like we need more charcoal for that. So then I'll consider this to be a good set... Uh, uh, a good setup for a, for a starting base. I'm going to go ahead and put the water purifier down. One, two, here it is. And done. So we're going to go ahead and deploy this. And these will give you nice clean drinking water that you can use in your um, in your thermos or you know our water skin or whatever it is you've got. Um, so we're going to open it, and we're just going to drop. Uh, some charcoal in there and then it will start to fill up so if I if you mouse over it here you'll see in the upper right corner of the description there where it says 0.3 liters and climbing uh, and the little the little circle there is showing you how much um, how much water is in there and uh, eventually it'll fill up I don't I think the little tag there means it has to be outside um, which is inter interesting because I've had 
Um, I've had dwellings that went out over the water and then had a trap door. Oh, set myself on fire. Not a good reason to be right by the water. Um, yeah, don't don't walk over your campfire. Um, yeah. Um, so any, anyway, I guess I, if I had a trap door in the floor, I, I I couldn't use this. You can use fish traps that way though. Trust me, I know. All right, as we call this good for now, and well, apparently that has not kept. <laughs> Um, aggressive animals from coming over here. Those guys just walked right across the water. Um, he's going to be trouble later. Well, he could be, but I'm going to be logging out. Uh, so anyway, this is uh, good to go for now. And next uh, next episode, we're going to head out and find some caves um, and uh, get some metals and get on to the next phase. So until next time, Benny out. <laughs>